Hey guys, it's Jurk. As somebody who studied political science for four years, I have always been super stoked about politics. And now that talking about politics is my full-time job, ha, you can bet I'm super happy. But why do I love politics? Why did I base my entire channel around politics? Well, it's actually for a couple of reasons, and I'm gonna explain them to you in this video entitled, Why I Love Politics. Reason number one. People are logical. One of the things I love about politics is how eager people are to change their worldview based off of new information. Even if people have very deeply held beliefs, if information comes out refuting that belief, then people just change their minds. This means that most people's political philosophies are based off of logic and reason, and not whatever's most convenient for them to believe. Reason number two. People use politics as a supplement to meaning, and not a substitute for meaning. In an atomized society devoid of God, it would be very easy for something like politics to come along, and fill the void that has been left by the absence of religion in our collective subconscious. You know, like some kind of easily adopted philosophy that tells you what's good and what's bad and why. We all crave something like that as people, but we live in a world where objective truth is faded away. Luckily, we don't turn to politics to fill that spiritual void. We just, we, 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 we don't do that. People end up adopting political philosophies that genuinely reflect their values, and not just whatever ones they happen to be born into, like some kind of cheap substitute for religion. Three, people's politics reflect what they actually believe. Every human being will eventually come to the point where they question their deeply held beliefs. And then people will make the decision that accurately reflects what's going on inside their head and not just adopt their political philosophy to be whatever is most convenient based off the people they hang around. A conservative person who only has liberal friends will just ditch all of their friends and be friendless and ruin their fucking life just because they wanna, they wanna what? They want to speak their mind on certain political issues? Yeah, that's a, that's a good deal. People don't just take their actual political thoughts and then cut the corners into a neat little box so that they're acceptable. No, people actually just say what's on their mind. Reason four, politics is practical. It might be easy to get caught up in the theoretical, but for the most part, politics is practical. All political theory has concrete steps that anybody can take to act out as praxis. This means that the way that most people engage with politics is empowering. It makes them feel strong. It makes them feel like they're impacting the world. And they are. Reason number five, political ideologues are happy. People who represent different political ideologies are happy people. Most ideologues you find online have haven't substituted a political ideology for their personality and are just mindlessly repeating talking points, they're actually very happy, very intelligent people. And that's a good thing, because otherwise it would, might be very easy for political discourse to be taken control of by a bunch of very angry, probably mentally ill people who genuinely want to end the lives of their fellow man. So yeah, all these things and more is why I love politics. I mean, if politics, and to be clear, by politics, I mean the absurd satire that politics is online, was actually an exercise in confusion, despair, and hopelessness, and instead people were clearly turning towards politics as a bleak substitute for the meaning that a rotting god left Using us. Using politics as a cheap substitute for group identity and meaning, both of which you'd have to construct yourself, Slapping and a that's a over the festering wound that is social isolation, economic decline, cultural degradation, and the absolute destruction of most of the natural resources we rely on. Without some kind live? of enormous population collapse, I don't know, clearly looming over us within our Otherwise, lifetime. this looming annihilation would push people towards political extremes in the desperate attempt to claw their way out, but it's genetic. No political ideology matter. can save us any more we than our dead our gods together, can. And we pray to men 200 years dead, hoping their and ideology our can save battles, us. And we wage our pointless wars, but the truth is we are all sons of bitches in our own way. We are all And it's impossible to be okay bitches. with that, so you may as well slap together some kind of group identity so you have an excuse to make it through another day of this hellscape of a life. If any of that was true, then maybe I wouldn't like politics. Maybe I'd feel chained to it, like some kind of fucking prison I designed myself, like some kind of ball and chain I put on my and own And that leg. this absurd masquerade needs to come to an end before my own sanity does. Huh. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I was saying the exact opposite of what I meant the whole time. Ha 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 ha. This video was sponsored by Raycon. With Raycon, you can take your old headphones and you can just chop them up. 
Just chop them up, they're garbage now. I just found out that if you go to buyraycon.com slash jreg, it says that jreg is gonna save you 15%, so my mistake. Thank you, jreg. The latest model, E25, is the best one yet, with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating. The noise isolating design is so great, you can barely hear Raycons destroy their rivals, destroy their rivals, turn into electrical waste. <laughs> I love using my Raycon E25 True Wireless earbuds to drown in my own thoughts. I just play music at all times, so I don't have to think. They're I electrical like waste. Your just headphones have up. wires on them? Loser, you will never and find love. And let me tell love. you, fellows, these things isolate sound, which is super useful for all the voices Seriously, I though, hear. Seriously, though, these are pretty solid. I have spent a lot of money on really bad wireless earbuds, and I gotta say, my recommendation is don't buy the cheapest thing. It's gonna break in two months. Get yourself something mid-range. This is a pretty good option. These are very comfortable. They're very sleek. They're very stylish. They're very discreet. You're paying less, but you're still getting that premium quality feel. Their quality is just as good as other top audio brands. Once again, go to Raycon.com slash and you'll get 15% off. See ya.